who yield three minutes to the representative also from the great state of Texas, the dynamic Congress member, Sheila Jackson Lee. The gentlewoman from Texas is recognized. I thank the chairman uh, of the uh, Foreign Affairs Committee and to the manager, Mr. Wilson, who I've traveled with as well, and I know uh, his heart, uh, to rise uh, and support uh, the legislation uh, that will provide the president with the authority, uh, S3522, uh, the authority to uh, lend uh, and lease defense articles to be able to help in the fight. But as I do that, uh, realizing what we're standing for, I raise my button that says, we stand with Ukraine. The very nation that is standing in the gap and fighting for the preservation of democracy around the world against the tyranny of autocracy and a one-man ban and a one-man war. We have all heard of the atrocities uh, that this violent dictator has chosen to wage against the innocent people of Ukraine, a country that wants nothing more than to love, uh, to live, and to live under a democratic regime. But let me tell you the story of what they face every day. Maripol and people who are there under siege, not knowing whether or not both the soldiers, the injured soldiers and civilians and children will ever come out alive. Or the mother who held her three-month-old baby uh, with her family members in her own apartment, seeking refuge and bombed by the Russians. Or the little girl, 16 years old, was told to take off her clothes to be raped by a Russian soldier and to be raped again and again. For the children who sat amongst the bodies of their parents, for the children who themselves were killed in Maripol and around the nation, for those who lost loved ones, who were fleeing through universal humanitarian routes, routes that are known in every war, as I recall, as a member of the United States Congress going to the Bosnian War, Albanian War, Iraq, Afghanistan, I don't think I've ever seen the direct and deliberate attack on civilians as Vladimir Putin's war has done. And so this is a crucial moment in our history. We have our responsibilities to America. We have the responsibilities of securing the southern border. And I just spent hours in the Judiciary Committee where my friends on the other side of the aisle decided to take up one issue, the attack about Article 42. On this floor, just a few hours ago, there was a constant rampant voice of Article 40, 42 uh, regarding the southern border when we were discussing this bill under the rule. I want the American people to know that talk is cheap and what we should be doing now is realizing that this is serious business. We must pass this legislation to stop this dastardly. I yield another minute to the gentleman. Your gentleman Ge is general lady is recognized. The gentleman is extremely kind for the passion that I have. We must pass this legislation to deal with not only Lyndon lease on defense articles, but to be able to provide the necessary humanitarian relief as well. I want to conclude my remarks by saying that the children have to be prioritized. And when I was in Ukraine on the border and visiting a reception center, I saw the faces of children. Unaccompanied children should be registered. Children with parents should be registered. And there should be a focus, as UNICEF says, to eliminate the nightmare that children are facing, the death that they face, the injury that they face, and to prioritize and to make sure that children can face the trauma uh, that this war is. As we do that, uh, let us continue to bolster up the American people's support. Uh, let us address their needs because they have needs. But let us make sure that the victory is ours. And finally, I am grateful for one of our hostages coming home. He lives in Texas. There are two more that we know that are well known. And we must bring home both of them. 
including the Olympian that plays in Russia and who is a WNBA star, we must bring them home. I support this legislation and ask all those to support this important legislation. My lady's back. time is up. Thank you. The gentleman from New York reserves. The gentleman from South Carolina is recognized. I continue to reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman from South Carolina reserves. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Madam Speaker, I'm now